Uh, you know, I want to read you a statistic here. Seven lives affected by every one person is diagnosed with MS. That includes family members, co-workers, and friends. And that's something like uh, 18,000 people are actually dealing with this disease uh, in New Hampshire. So that's kind of an incredible number when you think about it. And again, it is so important to uh, have all of you come out here and help raise money to fight this disease. And somebody is here today to talk about this experience uh, with MS firsthand. And I want you to lend an ear real quick uh, to Sharon Curell. She is here today with uh, her walking mates. Welcome, Sharon. Thank you, Sean. This is Sophie. <laughs> Sophie's shy today, but I'm not. So, my name is Sharon Curell. I do live in Manchester. And I was diagnosed with MS in 1999. One day, you have a full life, you're busy, you're active, you're moving, you're working, you're productive, you're raising your kids, cooking your dinners, and the next day, not so much. And so, my sons had to grow up very quickly, and my busy life became one of medical research, denial, disability, and fear. But after a few years, I decided that wasn't the way I wanted to live my life, so I turned it around. And I chose to banish fear, and I chose joy, and I chose yoga, and exercise, and activity, and I chose to work alongside my husband, and my friends, and my family, and my community. Because this disease isn't any fun, most of you know that. If you're here, you either know someone who has MS, or you do have MS. So I give myself daily injections. Is it fun? No. Would I like a pill? Yeah. Would I like a cure? Definitely. I think that wellness is a state of physical, spiritual, emotional, and social activities. I think it's important not to live isolated. I tried that. It didn't work out so well. So now I get out when I can, and if I can't, I can't. When I can dance, I dance. When I can walk, I walk. And I accept the days that I can't. But I can say that I wake up every morning grateful that I can see, I can hear. Sophie and I can take a little walk. Maybe we can dance. I volunteer a lot. I find that that really, really makes my life more full. So Sophie and I are volunteers for hospice. Sophie is a therapy dog and a service dog, and we make people feel better. We volunteer for the American Cancer Society, and we do what we can for our, our MS Society. If anyone has any questions about MS, I'm here. If anyone has any questions about how to fight through the tough times, I'm here. Always willing to lend an ear, have a chat, have a drink, have a coffee. <laughs> I like to have fun. I don't like to waste too much time because I've done that, and each day is a gift. Every single day that I can feel the floor under my feet is a gift. Right, Sophie? <laughs> say is thank you for being here for me and for all of those who do suffer from MS, who have MS, who know someone, who lives with someone. I thank my caretakers, they're amazing. And if you can walk, walk. If you can dance, dance. Don't waste your time. Just hanging out. Get busy. Thanks. Have fun. Be safe. Uh, round of applause, everybody, for Sharon. Sharing a very personal story. Thanks,